Hi, this is Tyler Disney. I'm with Integral Group Oakland. Um, I'm Oakland's lead BIM engineer guy. And in this video, I'm going to be walking through a workflow I found for when I have to rename a bunch of exports from Revit. So I plot a bunch of PDFs or a bunch of DWGs, and for whatever reason, the export name of the files from Revit needs to be something else that Revit doesn't let me do. For example, the, sh the, the file name is different than the sheet name, in other words. And I've got just a ton of sheets. So it take me a long ass time to do it uh, one by one. So I want some tricks. So I'm going to run through how to do that. So f uh, first things first, make a bunch of stuff, make a, make a bunch of files. Uh, so in this exercise, I'm going to do DWGs, because I assume you all know how to make uh, PDFs. Workflow is exactly the same, but DWGs are just a little bit more interesting. So uh, hit that button. You want to go, well, probably you want to go and make sure that your uh, settings are set to AIA, um, unless you've got something weird going on. Um, export your sheet set, which you created in print settings. Control P, define a sheet set. So I basically predefined the sheets that I do want to print. And as you can see, it's quite a few. So then I hit next. And then the really important thing is to uncheck this button, export views on sheets and links as external references. If I keep this checked, that's going to create a unique file, a unique DWG for each link view. So if I've got two architectural and a structural models linked into a view, it's going to um, create you know, those three or four DWGs. I don't want that. So when I uncheck this, what that's going to do is it's going to make backgrounds as uh, basically a block in my DWG. Uh, OK, so I need to find a folder to stick this stuff in. That looks good. Uh, let's see, I'm going to create a new folder. I'm going to call it uh, Mac DWG. And um, I'm going to call this just M dash. And I hit OK. And then Revit's going to do its thing. And I can watch it if I go here. So here's this folder I just created. So here it's going. It's cranking away. It just created this. You can see the M dash. And then the rest of this is the automatic name that it came up with. So it says sheet. It says um, sheet number. And then the sheet name is what it's doing. So it's going to go create a bunch of files, and we'll meet back when it's done. And we're back. OK, so uh, Revit finished, and it uh, created this huge list of DWGs with names that I'm not terribly fond of. So I need to rename them. Uh, so the big picture is it's a two-step process. Uh, the, the core of this is using the command line and a little bit of Excel trickery. Um, but to use the command line to rename stuff, uh, we need to sanitize these names so that the command line can deal with it. Because the command line can't deal with spaces and commas and ampersands and uh, things like that. So uh, two-step process. Uh, first step uh, is a free piece of software called Advanced Renamer. Google it. You can get it. Uh, shows up like this. And so I should probably explain uh, how this goes. So first thing to do is just grab your files, which I put he here. Select all of them. OK, so now all of my plans are here. So you can see this says file name, existing file name. And then this says, OK, this is what your new file name is going to be. Uh, so the first thing. I want to do is I want to take off uh, this stuff at the beginning. Another thing with the command line is if the file name is too long, it'll truncate it and cause problems. So get the file name as short as possible. As you can see, some of these are kind of long. Uh, so the first, uh, so to add uh, methods, basically you stack rules to change the name uh, by clicking Add Method, and then you pick one. So like you can pick Remove or Remove Pattern. And that's what I've done here. These these pattern stacks, these method stacks, have been working for me. So the first one is uh, first one I'm going to talk about is this remove pattern. 
to remove the stuff at the beginning. So I'm just going to start typing and watch here for the new file name. It'll be updating. So I'm going to say m dash dash sheet space dash space dash space. And so it's saying, okay, we're going to take all that crap out. Uh, that's great. I'm going to do um, this pattern removes ampersands. This pattern removes, uh, what this pattern does is it replaces spaces with dashes. And this one replaces commas. It just removes commas. So there's a comma here, no comma here. That would trip up the command line. And then the last pattern I'm going to do is just th remove. So I'm basically just going to uh, start eating up digits from the right by going backwards. And I think I need to reset this for it to do anything. So you see, I uncheck it, and it's, it has the full names, and then I check it, and it's taking 20 characters off of the end. Um, and so that's fine, and I'm just going to hit Start Batch. So again, I'll just show here. Here they are. Hit Start Batch. Boom. Go back. Voila. Okay, so now I have this directory with all these names, and they're short, they're sanitized, they're truncated, so I can work with them. Um, um, and now I can use the command line. So go into uh, the command line, cmd. Uh, you're going to have to, uh, excuse me, I'm not super uh, elegant with the command line. but So I'm going to go to uh, file, rename, change directory. Mech DWG, I think I called it. And I'm going to say directory slash B. That gives me a big list of uh, the, the ones. And as you can see, it's all pretty good. Yeah, looks pretty good, actually. And then I'm going to try to paste them into a Excel spreadsheet. So I've got this spreadsheet, which is where I'm going to uh, do some work. Um, so you can see I've got a column here for current file name, and then desired file name, and then I'm going to create a new column for renaming it. Uh, first, I've got to get it in here. And I still haven't quite figured out how to paint. There we go. I think you hit mark text. Cool. OK. So I've just pasted in uh, the list of um, drawings from my folder, and these all look good, except for it looks like these ones. This is what I was talking about when the name is, oh no, no, we're good. Oh, it's just that this one didn't get renamed for some reason. Control zoning diagram, 1705. I must have missed that. Uh, that's all right. Going to go back in here. Going to add no oh, uh, mechanical drawing. What the hell? Here we go. This is the one I missed. Do it uh, back in here. So normally it works flawlessly, but of course, since I'm recording now, it didn't. So 1705. I'm just going to manually copy the name of that guy into my spreadsheet paste and of course it's dot dwg like that and now i'm going to go and double check that um, my current file names matches up with my desired file names so 05ac 1000 1000 let's see spot checking 110301 110301 1203 1203 uh, 1703, 1703. Okay, so it looks like I've got it. So, file names as they exist, file names as I desire them to be, and then what we need to do is we need to essentially create a list of command line commands uh, to to tell the command line to rename this shit for us. And the the format of that is R E N for rename, file name of the existing file, and then the file you want. So I'm just going to say equals uh, REN uh, ampersand uh, no wait wait equals REN plus ampersand 
uh, space, that's right. And then uh, another ampersand, ampersand concatenates things for you. So then concatenate again, and then I'm going to put another space in there. That's what the quotes is for. Ampersand this guy, and I think that should work. Yeah, so I've got REN space, the name of the, f the existing file, and then hard to see, but space, the name of the file that I actually want it to be. Then I'm going to double click there. So this is this is just a big list of the commands that I want to do. And I recommend that you Google um, concatenate and all the other Excel fun Excel functions to build the uh, names that you want. It's pretty powerful. I'm going to go back into the command line. And I'm going to right click, say paste. And I'm just going to run all those commands. Um, and so I go back to my thing and voila. These are now um, all renamed exactly the way I want them to be. Didn't have to do anything manually. It was quite quick. So that's basically all there is to it. I know that was kind of fast and all over the place, uh, but I've slept two or three hours in the past 48, something like that. I've lost track. Anyways, uh, so that's the quick and dirty method to quickly rename a lot of sheets. Um, yeah, that's it. Thanks. Uh, let me know if you have a faster way because... I kind of just came up with this last night. I'm sure there's faster ways. But if this helps anyone, that would be awesome. Cheers.